what's going on everybody welcome to the channel today if you enjoyed this review please drop a like and please subscribe down below i appreciate all the support from everybody and as you can see we have a standard nike flip top box in front of us this is a pair of nike air max 90. the specific colorway on this pair is white university red retail was 130 dollars us this is a men's size nine and a half of course not my size and these released recently on December 7th of 2020. That is the holiday season we are looking at with a holiday theme. And there were three sneakers that actually released in this little pack they did. And here's what we are looking at. This came out, I think, really well. It's an interesting sneaker. And it is definitely Christmas themed. And as you guys can see, we have a different kind of upper here. Different mix of materials. Different style of lining. Uh, the other two in this pack, before I get into all the details up close, is you had a pair of Blazer Mids. And you had a pair of Air Force One Highs, which was actually delayed. So they didn't release alongside the Blazers and the Air Maxes. I think they're set now for December 19th, I believe it is. I will double check that and leave the link down below to where those will release and you guys can check those out because those are still upcoming and uh, this is what we are looking at today so I like what they did here you have a real real Christmas theme I'm a big fan of Christmas I love this holiday season I just love this time of year I'm also a winter guy I prefer the cold over the sweltering 90 degree heat so for me I love snow I love winter I love the holidays this time of the year especially like from Thanksgiving all the way up until New Year's so when you look at this shoe, you can see what we're talking about. We have a nice pine evergreen. This is a very soft leather going down along the shoe. I really like the way it feels. The white leather feels pretty nice too. It's a little stiff. The red you see here is also a leather. So we have three mixes of leather. You have the green Air Max here, which is a hard plastic. And then the green you see here with kind of the snowflake winter theme pattern is actually kind of like a sweater material. And I like that they use that because a big thing of Christmas is not only Christmas sweaters or dressing up and being nice when you go to dinner with family and you have a sweater on, but also ugly Christmas sweaters. But I think in terms of what they did here, it's not ugly. And there's the pattern look at the green sweater material. I'll actually bring it up close so you guys can kind of look at the knit and see what I'm talking about. See, I like what they did with this pair. I think the details came out really well. I think you can see what holiday it screams, what time of year it represents, the season it represents, and I, I just really like the way that Nike put this together. You got a little bit of green on the accent coming up from the outsole. We have red accent along the airbag, red on inside the airbag. Of course, you know, red and green being the Christmas colors. We have more of the white red mixture on the medial side of the sneaker. Here is a look at the sweater material that comes up along the ankle area around the back of the heel tab. Green heel tab, white Nike Air. This is rubber, of course. That has not changed. And one of the big things we can flip around to also is the tongue, which is also that sweater material going all the way up with the Nike tag stitched over in the usual spot. You have one pair of laces with these, which is kind of like a... I want to say it looks like a rope, but it's actually a flat lace. So it's it's actually interesting. It's a different kind of lace than I'm used to seeing on a Nike. And one of the big highlights you guys have probably been staring at is this lining, which is like a Sherpa fleece lining. It's crazy warm. It's really soft. These are really, really nice. And of course, that goes under the tongue as well. So it feels really good on foot, I'm assuming. It's probably very warm. These are not, don't expect these to be breathable. Don't wear these in July. Your feet are gonna stink probably and sweat them up. And one of my favorite touches of the shoe, well, besides, let me get into the laces again, is you do have a green tip on these laces so they're not just clear. But my, probably one of my favorite details on here besides the sweater material that you see on the toe cap and around the upper is on the insole with the Nike inside the snow globe looking like it has been shaken up and you have the snow going around you have the nike logo underneath on the green stand of the snow globe i like that detail i know no one's going to see the insole but the little things you know i just like when companies go that extra mile add the little details and they just don't think about oh well no one's going to see this why well, put it there they just put it there you know and that's what makes the shoe come out great overall and i just love the way nike put these together i did try to get the other ones and I may have gotten one, so <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything, but I kind of just did. But yeah, I do have another review coming shortly on a sneaker from this pack. 
Um, I think I'm going to end it there. There's not too much else to talk about besides the fact that you have a really, really well done Nike Air Max Christmas sneaker. These are probably sold out everywhere. I'm assuming that. If not, I will leave links down in the description to where you can buy them. Either way, you'll see them on the third or third party aftermarket sites. You'll see those down there as well if you can't find any for retail. But other than that, let me know what you guys think is Nike Air Max 90 Nordic Christmas 2020 release. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think about these. They're kind of unique. They're interesting. I know a lot of people love Air Maxes, so get some conversation going on in the comments. Let me hear what you guys have to say about this pair specifically. And other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by today. I hope you guys stick around. I have more content coming shortly. I appreciate all the support, and I hope you guys have a great day. All right?